I don't know what else to tell you, but I caved. I COVID caved. Wearing a very cute outfit. <laughs> Gotta go. What? <gasps> These are so nice. Oh my god, they're so cute. Love the details. Happy vibes. Happy tennis vibes. Yeah, they feel good. Woo! Stylish chic tennis vibes with the sweater. Give us a tennis oo TV. Love it. the last vlog talking about Love Island and a few of you guys have already asked me about where I'm watching Love Island so I'm about to show you I have my little Roku Roku thingy and I have Heyu installed so I've just been watching it on Heyu I think Heyu is like three or four dollars maybe a month we're just flying through season six let me see what episode we are on episode 18 I'm gonna go watch this and that's about it for the night so I'm gonna wash my things that I got at the thrift store very spontaneously the other day. eats up a lot of hydro and it's very noisy. Hence why I'm experimenting with the clothing line situation. It was here when we moved in and yeah, I kind of get it. If we can save some coin, save energy, I'm all down for it. So Daniel is currently dealing with a flat tire. Ooh. I just finished up the salad. I'm letting it chill for a little bit. It's like my favorite summer salad, you guys. Definitely recommend trying it out. It's like great to have stocked in the fridge for like a pre-made lunch and stuff. I want to say though, guys, like I'm so happy I'm vlogging because this week was one of the most productive weeks I've had in quarantine. I didn't vlog a lot of it up until now because it was just kind of like boring stuff. Like I was editing these videos. I was contacting brands, working on upcoming collabs and stuff like that and something else very very exciting so got a lot done i feel like i can finally somewhat relax this weekend even though daniel has to work all weekend which is unfortunate just feeling pretty accomplished so i want to get outside today because it is beautiful and i need to keep exercising something that i kind of put on the back burner this week but want to get back into it here is the salad i just had it saran wrapped because as i mentioned i need to get bowls with proper lids but this will do for now and oh it is so good you guys Aesthetic things. I'm literally sitting in the most random spot right now. I was gonna get a smoothie, but I was like, I have no idea where to get a smoothie down here. Honestly, Toronto kind of lacks in the smoothie department. And then I walked by this place and they were literally like, come in, we're doing free samples. And like, they literally gave me this for free pink smoothie. It's got like mushrooms in it, so... Mm. A little questionable, but it tastes great. They gave me free coffee as well. It is called Dice. Hashtag we are Dice. not already be in my pajamas and this is like the only pajama set that I own but it's kind of too revealing so I'm not going to show you guys but I really want to re-edit I guess you could say this clothing rack because I realized I have freaking like wool sweaters blazers another wool sweater and it's like 
40 degrees. It's gonna feel like 40 degrees this week. So I wanna have things on here that like I wanna take photos of and film in videos. So stay tuned for the makeover. All right, so it might not look that different. I had to keep like some blazers on it and stuff. I have the new in thrifted most recent quarantine pieces here, which I'm gonna try on for you guys in just a moment. So stay tuned for that, but looking a lot lighter and more colorful and just the summer mood. Also, I switched this up, still a work in progress, but if you guys wanna see like an updated office tour, I can do that because obviously things have <laughs> changed. Today's a mess. Testing out the high frame rate camera. Ooh. Phantom Flex 4K. So you'll let me You're on my vlog. Say what up to all the single ladies. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I know. I know. Phase two. Phase two. at these the more they are weeds i was like who needs to go flower shopping when you literally have a flower shop in your garden but it's actually just a garden full of weeds so we tried so i went on a walk to let my hair dry I'm not a big fan of using a hair dryer especially in the summer when my hair gets kind of frizzy it doesn't get frizzy like i'm very blessed with very very straight hair but it just gets kind of puffy and adds extra heat to my body which i do not need i've got so much to do today and i'm just being the queen of procrastination and putting the important stuff off but i gotta go film now i'll check in with you guys a little bit after i go film something for a brand and then i will give you guys the thrift haul that we've all been waiting for all right got what i had to get done done clearly did that make sense? I don't know. I got a package though. We got mail. Some of y'all said I looked like Blue's Clues, um, or the guy that's in Blue's Clues with my green and white polo shirt on, so maybe that's just my new persona. Ah! Aren't these the cutest glasses ever? They're actually glass. Wow, I thought I was buying plastic cups. I will link them down below. I think they're so fun for summer drinks bad look to cheers yourself probably anyways i have a really good watermelon slushy drink recipe that i want to share with you guys but i don't want to drink alcohol today because i drank a little bit on the weekend i'm trying not to drink during the weeks because it makes me bloated so i'm gonna save that for the next vlog make sure you guys stay tuned because it is literally the best summer drink i've ever had and i don't know why i never made it sooner because it's like all my favorite things put together in a drink anyways it's gonna look freaking cute in this cup because it's a pink drink with the green stem it smells kind of weird it just smells like cardboard i guess love love those i guess before i film my outfits video finally getting around to that like many years later i will do a very very quick try on haul i only got Four things at the thrift store that little green top that I was hanging to dry was actually my sister's so she took that home but the other three things four things yeah the other four things I do have one was just a red crew neck but it's actually still downstairs I haven't washed it yet because with red sweaters I always get really sketched out that they're gonna like bleed over my light clothing especially when I'm washing on hot water and stuff like that just to disinfect so I didn't wash it yet because it was the only like colorful thing I had and I didn't want to waste water and just do like a load for one item. I will try on the two slip dresses and the one pair of pants for you guys. To run you through the experience, I've been like so hesitant to go but pretty much everyone is out living their life, doing their things and I'm gonna be so responsible. I'm responsible anyways. Like you guys know me with my Purell addiction. Like I am so cautious of stuff when I go out. So I just think if you guys are going anywhere, I'm speaking from like the place of I live in Canada. Be extra cautious, like don't go somewhere if it's too busy. My sister and I literally went to a very small thrift store right before they closed. I paid with my phone, contactless payment. I washed everything. I was wearing masks. I was literally wearing like a hoodie, a hat, like everything. <laughs> and yeah, we were just super extra cautious. And I think if you're doing that and you're not going in like large groups of people, it's totally, you know, up to your discretion. Do what feels comfortable and just be smart about it. But 
I don't know. Will I go again? Will I go again? Probably, but I just don't know. I don't even feel comfortable like filming in there right now. There will be like a grand video when I actually go back to like a proper thrift store. Like it'll be, I'm kind of trying to think of something like fun and exciting for you guys. But in the meantime, here's what I got for trip number one out of quarantine. So these are the pants that I almost didn't pick up, but I'm very glad that I did because they fit really nice. They're like a kick flare type of style. I'm not like a huge fan of like silver pants, but I think with like the right outfit, just like a white tank like this and a little black bag, I think that's kind of a cute look. So very happy with these. I think they were like $7, so still not the cheapest, but they were worth it. Okay, this dress is so cute, but the bottom is just straight up sheer, so I'm gonna need to figure out what to do with that, but ah, I love it. Lingerie section is where it's at, you guys. I think this one was around $7 again, so this thrift store was not cheap. You know, thinking maybe things would be on sale because everyone was spring cleaning and like they haven't been able to sell stuff for so long, but it is what it is. This is super cute. I think it's vintage La Vie Rose for the final dress. Okay, so I honestly don't know how I feel about this one. I feel very like vintage lady wearing her underwear type of vibe, but maybe I'll cut it into a top and that will be better. It's just kind of like, I don't know. You guys let me know. Like, what do we think of this? Can it pass? I just don't know if I'm feeling it. Like. Also the color is kind of weird, or maybe it's just like the tint in my room right now. I can't tell. Maybe it's just my eyeshadow. I don't know. Having an off day, but let me know what you guys think. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I know I said I was gonna show you guys grocery shopping and all that stuff, but honestly, it's a holiday today in Canada and grocery stores were freaking hectic yesterday, so I just kind of zoned out, had a day, did what I had to do, and now I am working all day today. I thought I would leave you guys with my new favorite, favorite smoothie recipe. I've been more into smoothies now because it's so freaking hot outside and my stomach just doesn't want to eat like heavy, heavy foods right when I wake up. So this is the beautiful thing. I'm gonna pop all the ingredients up here on the screen and it is so delicious, you guys. Pro tip though, I will say if you're putting bananas in your smoothie, freeze them. Get those like reusable stash freezer bags and just freeze them when they get super, super, super ripe. Like you literally are gonna think like they're, they've are they gone bad, like that's when you wanna freeze them because they are so sweet and you don't need to add in like any other sweetness to your smoothie. It's all natural sugars. There's worse things, so. 10 out of 10 would recommend that. I've been drinking it like every morning. Keeps me full until like lunch, dinner. I've got to go film a bunch of stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you check out my last outfits video that just went up. I'm super happy with how it turned out. And I've got stuff on my nose, so hopefully that wasn't there the whole entire time. But make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the next vlog. All right, guys. I'll see you then. Bye.